The Kingdom of Lesotho, the highest country in the world, is encircled by South Africa. It's home to numerous rivers and mountain ranges. With a population of little more than two million, the country is severely threatened by an increasing prevalence of HIV/AIDS. Indeed, Lesotho has the second highest HIV prevalence in the world. Women have higher HIV prevalence than men in this country. We see young girls getting impregnated, being neglected. We certainly went wrong somewhere. Hence the new infections that we're having in the country, the high numbers that uh, have just gone out of control. According to Lesotho 2006 census, young people aged 15 to 24 constitute a quarter of the population. A survey three years later shows that one in ten in this age group is HIV positive. The United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, advocates for the rights of young people, and that includes the right to accurate information and services related to sexuality and reproductive health. The main area where we focus our intervention or our support in Lesotho is HIV prevention and maternal health. The key population we focus on is mainly young women and youth in general. So UNFPA decided to support Health Lesotho, a local NGO working closely with youth, empowering them with knowledge. They learn to protect themselves against adolescent pregnancy, sexually transmitted disease, and infections, including HIV. Health Lesotho also empowers young people to make informed choices. Sariti is a young mother from Makuteng in the district of Liribe. She raises her baby alone and takes care of her small cornfield. When I realized that I had fallen pregnant, I felt very sad. But after the support from my grandmother, who is also my guardian, I felt very much better. Sariti! After I joined Help Lesotho, the program on young mothers, we talked about a lot of issues, but especially I liked confidence. We were taught to be confident, and I am very confident right now. I feel very much okay right now. I see a different woman. I see someone who is now able to say, I will go out there do something to change my life. I'm no more going to stay back home, feel stressed. I'm no more going to be embarrassed to walk through or in my community being afraid to be harassed because I had a baby at an earlier age. You could see when you look at her, uh, now if you compare from the first time that we met her, that uh, this is a different woman. I believe that young mothers should be supported because I am very passionate about education. And for me, I would like those young mothers to go back to school, uh, get more educated so that they can become empowered, empowered mothers, empowered uh, women for our country. So certainly I believe we should definitely support them and help them to, to nurture their babies. And once they're done, go back to school. Lesotho's young and remote areas are most vulnerable. These herd boys face enormous challenges. In most cases, you might find that when you get to correctional services, most of the people who are there are the herd boys. They got into uh, activities like rape and sexual violence only because they, they are not well informed that it's a bad thing to violate the rights of women and violate the, the rights of girls. They 
also lack means to protect themselves against HIV AIDS because they don't know of anything re uh, related to HIV AIDS. They just know the name HIV AIDS. They don't know what is it and how they can protect themselves. Help Lusutu has been very important. I learned about the importance of the initiative to even know HIV status after going under the program. Help Lusutu has developed the Herd Boys training program to offer them HIV AIDS and gender equity education. These young men also learn life skills and psychosocial support. I also learned about the importance of gender equity. Uh, that women too are supposed to be respected and treated the same way as men. I also learned uh, about gender-based violence. I was one of the perpetrators, but after I joined the program at Help Lesotho and learned about the importance of protecting the rights of women, I am now one of the people who are advocating against that. UNFP is the main sponsor of uh, this program and uh, firstly when the program was launched UNFP gave away uh, blankets and gumboots for the head boys. Here at the headquarters of Helpless Sutu near Liri Bay, girls and young women from different parts of the country gather regularly for activities with discussions on HIV and risky behavior prevention. Today we're discussing issues of HIV transmission and risky behaviors. Participants are people who have graduated from universities and technicons, but are staying at home because they are not employed. So they, they, are, they are just there at home. They don't know what to do, they feel helpless. So they come here, we equip them with skills, including skills of leadership skills, uh, HIV issues, gender inequality issues. At the end of the day, we even equip them on how even to apply for jobs. As people, we had many misconceptions about HIV and AIDS. We used to interpret it in a wrong way. We didn't have information, like um, when it comes to how it is trans transmitted to us. We used to, to believe in many things that could mislead us. But with today's lecture, I've gained a lot, and it gives me that courage. From the rural areas to the heart of the capital, UNFPA, along with development partners, work closely with the government. The cooperation with uh, the Ministry of Health is a very old cooperation. As you know, the core of UNFPA support is uh, to make sexual and reproductive health available at low cost and everywhere. The youth, uh, we have some strategies that we have developed as a way of approaching the youth, to engage the youth. In the activities like Takaning, where they meet as young girls, we try to, this adolescence group, identify them and they come where they sing and they make their own groups. We start talking to them about the health uh, situation and how they should uh, behave in the way that they prevent uh, having a new infection. UNFPA also works with another local NGO, Lesotho Planned Parenthood Association. My name is Dineo Rapoka. I'm a youth volunteer here at LPPA. I help out with HTC, which is HIV testing and counseling. Another thing that we do here is we provide information to the youth about relationship dynamics. Um, this is where we cover about peer pressures, it's because the youth here in the Soto, they face challenges such as peer pressures, either from their friends or their family or their inner circle, people that they are around with. Male Clinic is part of the LPPA clinics where we run the sexual reproductive health services. We are mainly focusing on the male specific conditions, counseling of men about their sexual reproductive health, uh, concerning their relationships, HIV, and circumcision. And we also perform circumcision. Circumcision is part of the prevention strategies in HIV. We cannot reach men everywhere. If we can have with, uh, that kind of expansion of this kind of uh, clinics countrywide. We have built our partnership 
with LPPA so that they can move from Maseru to Semonkong and provide to all those young girls and young boys uh, the appropriate knowledge, uh, appropriate behavior so that they can uh, prevent themselves from HIV AIDS and also from uh, early pregnancy. We have observed the need for family planning services and we have also observed that people in the rural areas mainly cannot access such services at our state clinics. We have received support from UNFPA to carry such services to where people are. So Simongo is one of those outreach areas where we provide family planning services. Women are more affected uh, due to several reasons. Uh, one of it being the unequal power relationship and also beside the biological factors, but women in this country are faced with gender-based violence, unemployment. These are some of the structural reasons that are perpetuating the, the prevalence among women. AIDS has ravaged the village. A lot of people have died because we took a long time before we could start going for medical assistance. It was already too late when we started going for medical assistance to fight HIV. Every month I do come here at Senegal village to do some HIV testing and counseling. I think the counseling has changed their lives a lot because some of them who didn't do any, any testing, now they are doing it. They are using condoms. They know that HIV, you can prevent it by using condoms. We need health services in all respects. There are pregnant women who need services. There are, there's family planning. There are uh, those that are already having children. All of them need health services. With my four children, I had to travel to Simonko, but since they have now brought the clinic here through LPPA, I now get services nearer. The condoms are very helpful, especially if they are used by someone who has been taught how to use them, uh, who knows the, how important they are. I must say that all the work that's been done by the UN, UNFPA, UNICEF, you name it, WHO. We are very grateful for the work that they're doing in our country in helping out wherever they can in education, health and other sectors of the government. Uh, so we, we're very grateful for the work we're doing with them. I think the situation is, uh, is, is it's better controlled in terms of people who are adhering to the medicines and people who are when we are trying to avoid the new infections by new change of behavior. Personally, I I love and, and enjoy working with UNFPA. They involve me as much as possible and I'm learning as I go with them for any occasion that they would invite me on. Uh, recently, we've just been very much involved with uh, trying to make sure that we're reducing the numbers of maternal mortality in Lesotho, uh, which is another issue. Uh, numbers have gone up and it's it, we're working uh, very closely with UNFPA to see how we can help uh, to make sure that uh, no mother dies during childbirth. Antenatal care access is very high. Access to a skilled birth attendant is high. And we still have maternal dead. That means there is still some need not met. We need more qualified service providers and of course we need some support to those services to take the service to the remote place and this needs resources. UNFPA and partners will help the Kingdom of Lesotho reach the next level of health and welfare. The country is sure to benefit from family planning and a global trend of people living healthier lives. Yeah.